Hey, this is Todd of the Redeeming Dogs, and I've got Cody here. Cody is a pharaoh hound. Pretty rare breed. This is the first one I've had in for board and train. Uh, it is more like uh, some of the, uh, the Bison Hound, the Pharaoh Hound. Uh, these are sight hounds. Uh, they're more almost what I would call more of a, a, a primitive dog. Uh, very, uh, very good instincts, very bright dogs, good problem solvers, not known for great obedience. So uh, this dog seems to be learning very well, and he's very clever in the yard. Uh, so a lot of it, really, with these kind of guys, it's more giving them a reason. Why should I do that for you? You sort of have to convince them uh, why, why it's a good idea to do stuff with you or for you. So, come on. Yes. Good guy. This guy is fast. He can run like the wind. Come here. Up. I have worked him on this a little bit yesterday uh, to jump up into the into the box. This is helpful for the car later on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. He's a little distrustful of this, so it's taking him a while to figure this out. Come on. Good boy. Good dog. up in here once yesterday so a lot of the times when you're trying to get a dog to solve a problem you got to make the problem easier so I put this little step here so that it's a it's a pretty easy problem for him to solve he can literally walk right into the thing uh, does he physically need that step no he does and he can easily jump in but mentally it seems like a big problem so the first few days I'll work him with that step until it's mentally it's easy and then I'll move that, and he'll, he'll just fly right up here. Okay, off. Off. I like how cautious he is, too. He uses his step to come back up. So, come here, up. Come on, up. So, he still needs a little incentive, so I'm still using some food with this guy. Uh, up. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. Uh, I think he's about, I think he's seven or eight months old. He's not that old. Good. Good boy. Place. Good boy. Good boy, yes. But you can almost imagine what he'd look like, uh, you know, on those hieroglyphics in the pyramid. It looks just like this dog. Uh, now, it's my understanding that this dog is a recreation of that ancient breed. So this dog is a relatively young breed. I think it's 100, 200 years old, but it's a recreation of, a, of, an, ancient, of an ancient coursing hound. Very good. Yeah, he's got the hiccups. So, come on. Uh, just for the record, too, this is the first time this dog's ever had an electronic collar on. I'm using the collar. I've been using the, pushing the button while we're working. Uh, you can see the dog's not stressed at all. The dog's not uh, alarmed or concerned. It doesn't hurt. Uh, it's just a little tap on the shoulder. So, good boy. And this dog, I worked with this dog when he was a lot younger, and we, we did some basic, we did a variation of the pinch collar called the star mark collar. And so the owner started him on the star mark, and he's got a good foundation there. And what we'll do is we'll fade this, the, the pinch or the star mark collar, get rid of it, and then we'll just work him off the electronic collar. Come on. Good boy. That's a very good dog. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you can see his little brain working. He looked over at the place board. Hey, do you want me to go over to that place board? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, come here. Place. This dog is already uh, not watching my hands so much, and it's more looking into my face, watching my eyes. Good boy. 
So he's off to a good start, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what this guy looks like towards the end of his training. Uh, I think he's going to be good.